Hey everyone, it's me James, and tonight I am doing an outside on the balcony video for a mail call. And uh, just so you can see what's going on. Um, Alright, so I have some new items that I procured from Long Rifle soap company and they are out of the Green Bay Wisconsin area and they have um, if you go to their website you'll be able to see that they also have um, some retail shops that carry their items as well um, so I ordered myself four cents and this one is Hawkeye and it is a citrus cedar wood and leather scent I also picked up the Voyager soap looks like. They all come in pucks like that. And stand by real quick. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, drop the cap. Samuel Adams cold snap salute. Salute. Ah, that's a very nice. Right, Steve? Alright, so let me transfer those two back. Sorry about this. Alright. Okay. And this one is called Leather Stocking. And They are all three ounce pucks. Um, haven't done anything with them as far as like trying to see if they press down, but obviously you guys can hear and see that they come in tens. They come in the smaller uh, tens, which means that there's not a whole lot of room to load a soap off of uh, when you like to just kind of go around, especially if you have bigger brushes and whatnot. But um, ultimately, you know, I'm thinking because of that, they are probably able to be mashed down. And I'll try that on the one that I know I'm probably going to keep, uh, which is Hawkeye. And I'm sorry, let me get to this one. All right, and this one is the Bay Rum. All right, so one thing I want to say is that uh, they were extremely nice in uh, correspondence and I've seen Terry Lentz off of Twitter use them and I think that's kinda how because I probably retweeted something that he had in the shape of the day and uh, they ended up uh, seeing that I did that and I believe they followed me and I was like oh who's this and I checked it out and because they happened to be from or my girlfriend's from up there in uh, Wisconsin uh, Mem Birdman I was like okay well you know what let me read up a little bit more on them and so I went to their website and read about them and then ultimately I decided to pull the trigger now the one thing I will say is that it's kind of interesting because I noticed that out of these four scents that I grabbed, um, a patchouli is part of the scent. So <laughs> I don't know why that is, but it is. Um, but just out of the tin, it's not like a strong. I don't smell the patchouli. Like it's it's not. Sorry about that. Um, 
trying to figure out where it was. Okay, so they got the patchouli inside of it. And uh, it's not something that stands out to me. There is another scent inside of there that does. And I'm thinking it's tallow. Uh, the tallow standing out, not like an animal scent type, but more of just a... Uh, Almost something that just smells like, um, just like part of the, the product, not in a bad way necessarily, but I do detect like uh, a type of scent that's in there um, throughout all of their soaps. And it's definitely not patchouli, so I'm thinking the only thing it could be that would be detectable is the Tello. I could be wrong on that, um, but not in a bad way, like I said, but just something else inside of there that I can smell. Um, so I got these, and um, like for the one that I know I'm definitely going to keep is the Hawkeye. And it's funny because I believe her name is Amanda. So it was a handwritten note, and um, it said that they are going through branding puberty. So, you got like this, and it tells you like what it is underneath the soap company, underneath that arrow. It says citrus, cedarwood, lavender as the scents, which normally I wouldn't like a lavender, but something about this is pretty well balanced for me so I like it a lot um, prob probably the citrus elements the bergamot and the lemongrass it's inside of it I like it a lot um, however the bay rum does not have that and it's kind of a similar logo and then of course the other two which are like this uh, they don't have it as well as far as the scent profile on the label or like the stronger portions of it. Um, what I would say is that instead of putting shaving soap in this black line, if this is the one that you're going with, put the scent or the uh, what you're calling the soap, like this is leather stocking, put that inside of the black and throw the shaving soap down on the bottom and I think you'll have it because then you'll have your scent running through it and you'll have shaving soap smaller and then of course your brand up here is still well pronounced and then also if you want to you could probably figure out how to throw the, like this one says the citrus cedarwood lavender somewhere in that same area uh, but those are just my thoughts about it. Um, overall, right now, just with the purchase, um, pretty well pleased. Uh, it is a, a slightly more expensive because it's three ounces of soap for ten bucks a container. So something to keep track of. Um, as I get into using one, I'll have a video on whatever I'm using soap-wise, and I'll definitely go to another one just to make sure that the consistency of the soap itself regardless of scent uh, stands up against each other like you know uh, variations stay low uh, you want the products that you buy from a person or company to uh, behave the same when you're when you get used to it you're lathering it and if everything's going right you want to make sure the next time you go to a product different scent that you're doing well right so uh, those type of things but we shall see alright so thank you all for watching have a blessed night and I'll see you again when I see you